U.S. Physics Olympiad, USA, PHO, year 2010, semifinals. Problem A, 3. A cylindrical pipe contains a movable piston that traps uh, two moles of uh, air. Originally, the air is at uh, one atmosphere of pressure, P0, a volume V0, and at a temperature of uh, T0 equal 298 Kelvin. First, process A, the air in the cylinder is uh, compressed at constant temperature to a volume of uh, one quarter V0. Then, process B, the air is uh, allowed to expand adiabatically to a volume of V equal 15 liters. After this process C, this piston is uh, withdrawn, allowing the gas to expand to the original volume V0 while maintaining a constant temperature. Finally, process D, while maintaining a fixed volume, the gas is allowed to return to the original temperature T0. Assume air is a diatomic ideal gas, no air flows into or out of the pipe at any time, and that the temperature outside the remains constant always. Possibly useful information. Cp equal 7 over 2 R, Cv equal 5 over 2 R, 1 atmosphere equal 1.01, 10 power 5 Pascal, R equal 8.31 joules per mole by Kelvin. Questions. Question A. Draw a PV diagram of the whole process. B. How much work is done on the trapped air during process A? C. What is the temperature of the air at the end of the process B? D. What is the lowest pressure occurs during total cycle? Solution. So, first uh, let's uh, draw a PV diagram of the whole process. In uh, point zero, we have a uh, volume V0, pressure P0, and the uh, temperature T0. And uh, we have uh, isothermal compression from point zero to point one, while uh, volume decreases uh, four times means that uh, pressure increase four times. After that we have uh, adiabatic expansion uh, from uh, point 1 to point 2, that's uh, process B. Uh, during this expansion uh, temperature is going down. And after that we have uh, isothermal expansion, process C, from point 2 to point 3. And because this other term is, uh, has a temperature lower than uh, process A, uh, we will get uh, to the uh, point 3 with a lower pressure than in point 0. And the last process is D, that's isochoric process during which uh, pressure and temperature going up to point uh, 0. That's the answer for question A. Question B. How much work is done on the trapped air during process A? Uh, during process A, we have isothermal compression, and the uh, isotherm it's a uh, hyperbola. So we need to count what is the area under this hyperbola. And uh, for that, we just need to integrate this uh, area, which uh, will give us a result. Work equal uh, number of moles multiplied by RT and multiplied by logarithm from V1 over V0. So that's the formula. 
now we just need to put the numbers we have 2 multiplied by 8.31 multiplied by 298 kelvins and multiplied by logarithm 1 over 4 which uh, give us a uh, negative uh, 6866 joules that's the answer for question b question c what is the temperature of uh, the air at the end of process b at the end of uh, adiabatic expansion for adiabatic expansion we have formula this uh, formula connect the temperature and volume and uh, gamma here that's equal to cp over cv which is uh, 7 over 5 and now we can uh, count what is the uh, temperature in the point 2 uh, we already know that uh, v2 equal 15 liters and uh, we need to find what is uh, v1 which is uh, four times uh, less than v0 but the v0 we, we can count from our uh, initial conditions from the formula for universal gas law we have uh, p0 v0 equal n r t0 so from here we can find what is uh, v0 uh, v0 equal uh, number of moles multiplied by r t0 over p0 so now we can uh, put all numbers and uh, finally we have a result that it's equal to 0 0.0490 cubic meters and now we can count what is uh, t2 in the point 2 now we can count what is a v1 that's uh, four times less than v0 which is uh, 0 0.0123 cubic meters and uh, after that we can count what is a uh, temperature t2 that will be this expression here we already know what is a t0 v1 and v we can put numbers and uh, finally temperature in uh, point 2 equal 275 kelvins that was answer for question c and now question D what if the lowest pressure occurs during total cycle uh, from this diagram we see that uh, lowest pressure will be in uh, point 3 and uh, now we can count what is this pressure so we can count this uh, pressure in point 3 using uh, again uh, universal gas law p3 v3 equal number of moles multiplied by r multiplied by temperature uh, here we already know that v3 that's the same volume as a uh, in initial point zero so that's a uh, 0 0.0490 uh, temperature T3 that's the same as the temperature T2 because this is as a thermal expansion so finally we can count what is uh, P3 P3 equal number of moles multiplied by R multiplied by T2 over V0 we can put numbers and the uh, result will be 9.33 10 power 4 pascals. That's the answer for question D.